up, guys? It's Stephanie for Resource News. But I'm going to make a post on this Insta story regarding the issues with SARS, and he said, This may be too much for some of you to understand, but until we're really ready to fight SARS and the powers that be, I am not talking about any protest or aimless marching. I mean, really fight. Nobody should include me in any end SARS hashtag because you're wasting my time and yours. Until then, let us pray that our turn to die at the hands of SARS never comes. I repeat to all those who have died unjustly at the hands of SARS. Anyway, let's see how people felt about his post. Chili Music Empire said, he wrote this out of anger. The best way to tackle this is not fight. But if the whole Nigerian decides to stay out of work, people come together. Nothing is stronger than unity. Even this artist, everything should be on hold until SARS is scrapped. Please, don't fight police. I can't stand the pain of losing another black brother. Minikoli Lee said, Will Banner Boy come out to fight too? Because some of us are ready. We won't lay down our lives when your celebrity fakers are at home smoking weed and chilling with ladies. All Things Bag said, I think there is enough sense in this write-up. If the government doesn't defend her people, people will defend themselves. Because I don't understand these unjust killings. King Tok said, a country of keyboard warriors and very low few real fighters with lion heart. We ain't built for that shit in this country. LOL. Not even a generation that goes with all man for himself. Slogan. It's drag season still with Tonto DK and her ex-husband Churchill. The actress took to her Instagram page yesterday where she shared a post in which she called him out to provide receipts that he actually paid for their wedding. It didn't end there. She also demanded that he provided receipts for the bills he paid for King, their son. Anyway, check out some of the posts she kept out. Wow, that was a whole lot. Let's check out what Nigerians had to say about this whole situation. Domingo Loso said, she needs to chill out and stop putting her business on social media for random people to start talking and making a mockery of her personal life and family matter. Yoma Babe said, seriously, Toto DK, you need to heal. Move on and stop trying to make social media the judge of your failed marriage. It's been a while this happened and we are still hearing it in 2019. Pretty Culture said, Honestly, I think Tonto should just ignore all this. I can't even drag my enemies like this, let alone someone I once had a thing with. I know someone will soon come and type if you love Tonto, gather here. <laughs> Kunle Real said, Learn how to be done with people. Not mad, not bothered, just done. So much anger and hate between them. Some weeks ago, Senator Ademola Adeleke was celebrating his win for the Oshun State elections, which was declared by the Court of Appeal. But now, a federal high court in Abuja has nullified his participation in the governorship elections based on the fact that he submitted a forged wire result. This whole thing seems really off. But let's see what people had to say about this whole thing. Queen of Trolls said, The Adelike debacle is so funny. He bought his PDP form, did not have the minimum constitutional requirement, smuggled a forged school certificate into his INEC form, quickly went behind to buy Waiek and NECO forms, got someone to write the exams for him, got caught. Wally Aditona said, Everything is just on your own in this country. Just last week, we were celebrating Adeleke's court victory. Today, his nomination has been nullified. Jackson Ude said, A federal high court in Abuja has nullified Adeleke's participation at the Ocean State governorship election on the ground that he did not have WAEC, the minimum qualification to contest any election. When would the court also nullify Buhari's participation at the presidential elections? Untouchable said, How in this world can Senator Adeleke have a fake result? I swear, Nigerian politics is competing with the world and African magic. <laughs> That's it, guys. Don't forget to catch us on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And check out our other interesting content. And make sure you subscribe, like, and click on the notification bell for instant notifications. Bye, guys.